Uh, one of the great things about Shelbyville that I, I very much like here is the the real small town feel, but the big time vision. So it's a uh, it's a real good thing to be here today. We're uh, we're so far ahead of schedule in terms of of, of putting this project together, and it's just a, it's an amazing story that someone was the mayor of this city. This was a project uh, that I think was a priority of, of, of a lot of people. Main Street Shelbyville. Uh, had a, obviously a huge interest in this as well, and we started this program with Amy Hacker, which she was the redevelopment director, as well as working for Main Street, and then it just kind of grew and involved partnerships with the city council, uh, the redevelopment commission, who really indulged us. Uh, you know, me making the pitch to them, asking for the uh, funds available for the due diligence, and uh, and them having faith in the project. So uh, I appreciate the redevelopment uh, commission for taking that leap of faith. But then the city council making the appropriations that were necessary. We have people here from the county council as well. Uh, people from uh, the arts community are here also. The planning commission, the zoning board. Uh, what you have here, Sean and, and, and Mitch, is just a, a, a great collection of people who really need to be here. Uh, we're thankful that we've seen uh, Daredevil Brewery here, Buck Creek Winery, uh, Tour of Italy 18 on the Square. Everybody is here to support you and to support this effort. So. Uh, I saw the cards that you're handing out asking people to give you their memories and, 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 and Doug Seaman and I were talking about this. Quite frankly, I have very few memories of this building other than being in pretty bad shape. Uh, we had a few businesses on the ground floor that were hit and miss. Arthur Depry was upstairs for a while. R.D. Jones, who was a local attorney for many years, was here. And then really it was mostly vacant space. And so uh, for several years this was an abandoned property. and and a nuisance property and so uh, I think it was important that we all got behind this effort and, and again I appreciate everyone who supports this and, and we're happy to have you here. So Thank you. Thank you. Um, but one of the, the, the things about this building is you've got to have a good vision and, and our vision comes from a, a guy who should write textbooks on redevelopment uh, who I've had the pleasure of meeting through this project and now we're working on a ton of projects together uh, from Berkeley, California, our architect Todd Manley. Uh, I have my airline uh, retire on. So uh, I, I do feel honored to be here. I, I am a lover of buildings. Uh, you know, when you're talking, Tom, it really made me think back to the, what, my early years when there was town squares and we did go to the five and times. And, you know, I mean, I, I, those of us uh, baby boomers or 50s and 40s and 50s and 60s remember these days. And, of course, you know, the automobile generation took over and the investment went to the suburbs and, and came out of places like these. And these places really ran, uh, they did go fallow. Uh, these places are, you know, our, our core walkable town squares are coming back. And this one's going to come back. And we're, we're here to, you know, to move that along. And to move that along gracefully and with elegance and, you know, and speed. Um, this project is going to be enormously catalytic for not only this town square, but for this city. And you will see that happen. I have, I am uh, sort of a lover of catalytic projects, and I, I observe them and watch them and, and study them, and in making sure that the elements that are part of economic catalytic projects will be in this project. So I'm delighted. You guys have certainly seen some of the, some of the ideas and sketches. The, the co-working and collaborative economy is here to stay. Uh, and it's certainly here to stay for the next, uh, my lifetime. Uh, and the power of collaboration is, I think, important for, you know, for our whole economic future. The millennials are all over it. Those are the, the kids and the people who are going to be taking us all to the next level. And they will be, they will be, they'll be in here in throngs and this place will be vibrant. And I just met with Mitch and a gentleman who's interested in taking them to the ground floor and their vision. The marketplace. So it's it's it's, it's going to be amazing. Who, uh, had a vision. We were we were working on a property in in Oklahoma, and he said I, I he didn't love the property. He was just buying it for the sake of buying it. And I and I said, why don't you do something you like, like historic? And and he found some historic properties here in Indiana. And I said, you know, Indiana has one of the better economies in this valley. Which was able to acquire the, the times, right? old Shelbyville High Apartments, and and then started looking at this immediately and some other properties. Uh, this is a guy with a vision, and as soon as the public partnership took place here on this project, 
you know, the private investment dollars, literally the faucet started opening. And that's really how everything works nowadays in the financing world. And uh, just a great background, I, you know, Mitch Genzer is a, he's a, a, a lawyer. He's a guy who's, who's worked with families and family court for years and, and really caring about communities and people like that. And, and really wanted to build it into a healthy living lifestyle that we were starting to see over at Old Shelbyville High, and now a healthy workplace environment that we're, we're going to see here. Um, I, I want everybody to really get excited about uh, what, what we're about to hear right now from the president of Purple Vetch Properties, Mr. Mitch Genzer. Thank you. Um, so, a couple of things. What, what we bring as a team is, I think you've heard bits and pieces of it, but we bring a lot of expertise in terms of, you know, financier background with Sean, the architectural work with Todd. And by the way, when Todd came, yeah. Todd and Sean goes without saying, these guys are just, you know, key components of the program, of our project, of my business, and I'm just honored and lucky to be working with these guys. We not only are, are passionate about what we do, but we have a lot of fun doing what we do. Kathy Williams, basically adopted me about a year, six months ago. Uh, her husband, Rick, was actually the broker helping close, closing the deal for the seller when we bought Old Shelby High. And through Rick, I met Kathy, and I say that she adopted me in a sense because I needed another pair of eyes. I needed some guidance in Shelbyville, and she was just an amazing gift yeah, to me, so, so I want to acknowledge This gentleman Kathy here, Michael people. Corner, so thank you so Michael much. Michael is <laughs> our property manager over at Old Shelby High. This gentleman works his tail off for us. There's nothing too big, nothing too small. I honor you, Michael, and I you thank you very much for all that you do. Okay, so it's over at Office Hub, and I just acknowledge Shannon and those guys. They've been great. They help us a ton with things. I was talking to Jan, and she hands me this piece of paper, and I said, can I read this on Wednesday night? She said, sure. Okay, so this is what she said. Miss Malloy had her attorney's office over at the Methodist building. And she would yell at us kids <laughs> playing on the elevator. <laughs> the Methodist building was one of two buildings that had elevators. There was a cerebral palsy clinic on the third or fourth floor, and I go with mom to give the kids the, in that area their exercises, as in their work with their hands and some activities. I spent a lot of time looking out the window, feeling on top of the world or at least on top of Shelbyville. You know, basically, you know, the gift that we want to bring to the community is, you know, we want to give present and future generations the opportunity to look out here and feel like they're on top of the world. They don't need to leave Shelbyville to be on top of the world. I, I welcome the arts community. I welcome any community that's here that we don't yet know. Uh, as you look at some of the drawings, understand we're in exploratory play mode. We did have a bunch of stuff indicating a lot of collaborative space, but look, we're going to have traditional office space, collaborative space, a lot of different things. The more we hear from you about what you think you need, and as we do even more and more due diligence, we'll be able to refine our drawings and figure out what it is that we want to do for you in this community. It's already been acknowledged, but we got you know 18 on the square, Tour of Italy, thank you very much. Buck Creek Winery, Daredevil folks. I mean, we're talking wonderful, high quality, you know, sort of world quality stuff right here in Shelbyville. And that's what we want to bring here in this building. So thank you all for coming. Thanks for the vendors. For being here.